Welcome back. Problem 9-26. This problem is taken from chapter number 9, Stress Transformation and the book name is Mechanics of Material by R.C. Hibbler. So statement is the bracket is subjected to force of three kips. Determine the principal stress and maximum in plane shear stress at point A on the cross section at section AA. Specify the orientation of this state of stress and show the result on the element. So you can see this is the bracket that is subjected to three kips load tensile load this cross section at section a is shown over here you can see this is the breadth this is the height and this is the uh, web uh, flange and this is the web this is web and this is flange all the dimensions are mentioned so you have to find the principal stresses and maximum in plane shear stress at point a and you have to specify the orientation and state of stress so let's start with the solution. So when you section it at section AA, so here I have shown, so you will be having a reaction, a, a normal force that is perpendicular to this surface and this will be equal to N. Clear? You will be having a shear force uh, as well as you will be having a movement that will be in this direction. Clear? So you will find this V, M and N by using equation of equilibrium. The first equation of equilibrium that is sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to zero and upward force is taken as positive. Okay. So you can see only V is acting downward. So minus V is equal to zero. It means that this shear force is equal to zero. Now we'll find this and by using equation of equilibrium that sum of all forces along x direction must be equal to zero and force in this direction is taken as positive. So you can see n is in positive direction and this three is in negative direction. Their sum must be equal to zero. So from here we will get this n is equal to three k. Now we'll find this movement and the equation will be sum of all moment about section a a must be equal to zero and taking the counterclockwise moment as positive so here you can see this distance from top till this top uh, surface is three inch so this is three inch and this half portion which you can see here this is two inch so half will be equal to one so total distance will be four inch so distance from this till the mid of this is four inch clear so you can see a movement about section a a so this force into perpendicular distance is this one four clear and this is producing counterclockwise movement so it will be positive the second movement about this section a a is this movement which is clockwise and that will be negative but their sum must be equal to zero so i will write three multiply by four minus m is equal to zero so from here m will be equal to 12 kip into inch okay kip into inch now we have all these three unknowns so you can see here that here we for normal stress i will write normal stress normal stress for finding normal stress sigma that is the combination of this normal load over this face that will be equal to n divided by a clear and due to this movement in this direction and due to this movement it will be in bending stress so due to bending stress this will bend like this the upper portion is in tension while lower is in compression clear so it will be positive plus m into y divided by i so this n by a is stress due to normal force clear this this is the stress and this stress is due to the stress due to bending moment clear okay now we'll find this a and i which are the section properties so section properties a is the area of this cross section so you can see this is the cross section so if i take it like this this is the whole area one by two inch and then subtract this two portion 
सो वी विल गेट द एरिया सो एरिया इज इक्वल टू टू मल्टीप्लाई बाय वन माइनस यू कैन सी दैट दिस हाइट इज टू माइनस जीरो पॉइंट फाइव माइनस जीरो पॉइंट फाइव विच इज़ वन पॉइंट फाइव एंड दिस रिमेनिंग टू पोर्शंस इज वन माइनस जीरो पॉइंट टू फाइव विच इज़ जीरो पॉइंट सेवन फाइव सो आई विल राइट जीरो पॉइंट सेवन फाइव मल्टीप्लाई बाई हाइट विच इज़ वन पॉइंट फाइव एंड वेन यू कैलकुलेट इट यू विल गेट दिस एरिया कम्स आउट टू बी जीरो पॉइंट एट सेवन फाइव स्क्वेयर इंच नाउ विल फाइंड आई विच इज़ द सेकेंड मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया about this neutral axis and since this is symmetrical about the center so we will take moment of inertia i which is equal to 1 over 12 its breadth which is 1 and height is 12 so 1 into uh, not 12 2 2 cube so this will be the moment of inertia when you take this as a rectangular and now we will subtract the moment of inertia of the remaining these two portion so i will write minus 1 over 12 at the remaining breadth is 0.75 which you have seen over here and height is 1.5 cube so when you calculate it you will get 0.45573 inch power 4 now you have all these values and you can see that we have to find the principal stress at point a so a is at a distance of 1 from this neutral axis so y is equal to 1 inch so i will write y is equal to 1 inch for point a now you have all the values you can just put it n is 3 kips so 3 divided by area is 0.875 plus moment is 12 kips so 12 into y is 1 divided by i is 0.45573 so when you solve this you will get the stress at point a which comes out to be 29.76 ksi so this is the normal stress that is acting at point a now for shear stress for shear stress we know that shear stress is equal to v into q v v into q a divided by i into t so q a will find q a so q a is equal to y dash bar into area since this point this is point a so above this point a there is no area area is equal to 0 so it means that q a will be equal to zero so here then this shear stress will be also zero now we will draw the state of stress at point a can be represented as if i draw the element the, uh, the element and show the state of stress so only we have sigma a normal stress in horizontal direction and that is like this which is sigma a is equal to 29.76 ksi and that is also equal to sigma x there is no uh, stress in y direction so it will be zero and there is no shear stress so state of stress state of stress at point a at point a now we will find the principal stresses so for principal stresses i will write principal stresses so here we have sigma x is 29.76 ksi sigma y is equal to 0 and tau of xy is also 0 so principal stress you can see that this is sigma 1 comma 2 is equal to sigma x plus sigma y divided by 2 plus minus sigma x minus sigma y divided by 2 whole square plus tau of xy whole square okay so when you put the value sigma 1 comma 2 is 29.76 plus 0 divided by 2 plus minus 29.76 minus 0 divided by 2 whole square plus 0 square 
so when you solve this you will get sigma 1 comma 2 will be equal to 29.76 divided by 2 plus minus 29.76 divided by 2 so from here if you take plus sigma 1 will be equal to 29.76 divided by 2 plus 29.76 divided by 2 which is equal to 29.76 and the unit will be KSI and sigma 2 will be equal to 29.76 divided by 2 minus 29.76 divided by 2 which is equal to 0 KSI so we will get sigma 1 is 29 point I will round out round, round off it so this and sigma 2 is equal to 0 KSI now you can also find this sigma 1 and sigma 2 by using more circle so we will also explain that that this is a horizontal axis and this is the vertical axis on horizontal axis we will take normal stress on vertical axis we will take the shear stress so for that we will need the pair sigma x comma tau of x y and sigma y comma tau of minus tau of x y so 29.76 or you can also say that this is 29.8 comma 0 and 0 comma 0 so if you plot first point 29.08 let 1 division 1 2 3 4 5 is of 5 ksi so 5 and this is 30 so 29.8 is approximately 30 so this point will be 29.8 comma 0 and this point will be equal to 0 comma 0 and when you draw a circle which are passing through these two points clear you have to draw it perfectly so you will get it like this here you can see that this point is this point is sigma 1 and here this is sigma 2 so sigma 2 is 0 and sigma 1 is 29.8 ksi now i will represent this principal stress on the state of element r so this is sigma 1 which is equal to 29.8 ksi and there is no sigma 2 so it is the only state of stress sigma 1 for in plane shear stress we have formula maximum in plane shear stress we have formula ta max in plane is equal to sigma x minus sigma y divided by 2 whole square plus tau of x y square so put the value you will get 29.7 29.8 minus 0 divided by 2 whole square plus 0 whole square under the root and when you calculate it will be 14.9 ksi okay again you can see that uh, the center of this circle will be equal to sigma average comma zero this is the center and sigma average is sigma average is sigma x plus sigma y divided by two so when you calculate it 29.8 divided by two will be again 14.9 clear so this point is 14.9 comma 0 okay and this is the maximum in plane sharing stress here you have sigma at this point you have sigma average comma ta in plane maximum and you can see this ta in plane maximum maximum in plane is equal to radius of this circle and radius of this circle is again can be computed by this formula which is equal to this let me write it sigma x minus sigma y divided by 2 whole square plus tau of x y square under the root and you will get the same 14.9 ksi if you use the mohar circle okay 
now we will find the orientation of maximum in plane so for that we have tangent of 2 theta s is equal to minus sigma x minus sigma y divided by 2 player divided by tau of x y so if you put the value minus 29.76 minus 0 divided by 2 divided by 0 will give you infinity so it means that 2 theta s is equal to tangent inverse infinity so 2 theta s is equal to 90 degree and if you want to find theta s so theta s is equal to 45 degree r minus 45 degree clear now we'll move to our next page so we have theta s is equal to 45 and minus 45 so you can theta s is 45 degree r theta s is equal to minus 45 degree so put it put this theta is equal to minus 45 degree in tau of x dash y dash which is the transform stress when the element is rotated through any angle so it, sigma x minus sigma y divided by 2 into sine of 2 theta plus tau of x y cos of 2 theta so minus 29.8 minus 0 divided by 2 into sine of 90 degree minus 90 because theta is minus 45 plus 0 into cos of minus 90 degree so when you calculate it you will get tau of x dash y dash is equal to 14.9 ksi so this is the positive value which is maximum in plane shear that occurs at 45 degree shear stress now average sharing stress comes out to be sigma x plus sigma y divided by 2 so 29.8 plus 0 divided by 2 will give you 14.9 ksi and we will represent it on state of ele element so let this is your initial x this is your y and now angle is minus 45 clockwise so let this is this is minus 45 degree clockwise and this new transform y axis will be y dash will be this and if you draw the element like this so this will be the element clear and you can see that every sharing stress will be like it will be like perpendicular to this surface perpendicular to this surface perpendicular to this surface perpendicular to this and this is sigma average all are sigma average and tau of x y is positive so it will be like our maximum in plane shear stress will be like this one this is tau in plane maximum so that was all about this problem 9-26 in which we have calculated the uh, principal stresses clear which is sigma 1 comma sigma 2 and we represented it on element and specify the location then we discussed the maximum in plane shear stress using normal equation as well as by using Mohor circle and then we calculated uh, the average uh, normal stress at uh, this angle theta is theta is 45 and specified the uh, state of stress uh, at this theta s which is minus 45. I hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it. Those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos. If you have any question you can ask me in comment section. Thank you for watching.